Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Sci-Fi Odyssey. Today, we're deep diving into Alistair Reynolds' Revelation Space Universe and unraveling its most intriguing mysteries, the Meldin Plague. The Melding Plague is a central concept that reverberates through Alistair Reynolds' Revelation Space series, a meticulously crafted collection of hard sci-fi novels and short stories set in a coherent, interconnected universe. The Melding Plague is a pivotal element in the series. It influences the trajectory of human civilization, shapes the dynamics between different factions, and forces characters to confront the limitations of technology and the ethical dilemmas associated with its advancement. So what is it? Originating in the distant future, the Melding Plague is a self-replicating nanovirus that has the ability to infect and manipulate both organic and inorganic matter at a molecular level. This nanovirus is an offshoot of nanotechnology, a field of science that involves the manipulation of materials at an incredibly small scale, specifically at the atomic and molecular levels. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, and nanotechnology involves the design, characterization, production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlling the shape and size of materials at the nanoscale. This technology has the potential to revolutionize various fields, from medicine to computing, and holds promises for groundbreaking advancements in areas such as drug delivery, cancer treatment, renewable energy, and environmental remediation. In the Revelation Space Universe, this nanotech virus causes the melding or fusion of biological and non-biological materials in unpredictable and often grotesque ways. For example, a human infected with the melding plague might find their body parts fused with nearby objects, rendering them into horrific, semi-organic monstrosities. The plague had a profound impact on the human civilization depicted in Reynolds' universe. Once it began to spread, it caused widespread panic and chaos, rendering advanced technology unusable and entire habitats uninhabitable. The civilizations that relied heavily on nanotechnology were the hardest hit, leading to their decline in their influence and power. Moreover, the Melding Plague played a significant role in shaping the factions and civilizations in Revelation Space Universe. The Conjoiners, a faction of humans who had integrated advanced neural implants and nanotechnology into their bodies, were particularly vulnerable to the plague. To survive, they were forced to isolate themselves and develop new technologies to combat the virus. Despite its destructive nature, the Melding Plague is not portrayed as a purely malevolent force. Instead, Reynolds uses it as a narrative device to explore deeper themes related to the potential dangers of uncontrollable technological advancement and the ethical dilemmas associated with playing God. It serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the potential pitfalls that await us as we continue to push the boundaries of science and technology. The origins and nature of the Melding Plague remain shrouded in mystery, and over time various theories have emerged in an attempt to explain its genesis and characteristics. One theory is that the Melding Plague was deliberately engineered as a weapon. Given its ability to wreak havoc on both organic and inorganic matter, it is plausible that a faction or civilization with advanced knowledge of nanotechnology created the plague as a means to assert dominance or to neutralize an enemy. This theory is fueled further by the strategic advantage that could be gained by a faction immune to the effects of the plague or possessing the means to control it. The plague has the ability to cause indiscriminate destruction by affecting both organic and inorganic matter. This means that not only can it harm living beings by fusing their body parts with other objects, but can also cripple infrastructures, spaceships, and even entire planets by melding their constituent materials into grotesque and non-functional forms. A specific example of this is the impact of the melding plague on the planet Yellowstone. Prior to the plague, Yellowstone was a hub of human civilization, home to the glittering city of Chasm City and a center of technological innovation. However, the melding plague devastated the planet, rendering its advanced technology useless and transforming Chasm City into a nightmarish landscape of twisted, melded structures. The city's once majestic buildings were transformed into grotesque shapes and its advanced infrastructure was rendered inoperable. 
The inhabitants of the city were forced to adapt to this new harsh environment, leading to a drastic change in the social and political landscape of the planet. A faction or civilization with advanced knowledge of nanotech could have engineered the plague with this dual purpose nature to ensure maximum impact, targeting both the population and the infrastructure of their enemies. The theory is further fueled by the notion that a faction immune to the effects of the plague or possessing the means to control it would gain a tremendous strategic advantage. This faction could deploy the plague without fear of it backfiring on them and potentially even manipulate the virus to target specific enemies or achieve specific objectives. This kind of strategic advantage would be invaluable in a universe where multiple factions are competing for power and resources. Another widely accepted theory is that the melting plague was an unintended consequence of an experiment gone awry. In a universe where civilizations constantly push the boundaries of science and technology, it is conceivable that the plague emerged as a byproduct of research into advanced technology or other related fields. This theory suggests that the plague's creators may not have fully understood the implications of their work, leading to the accidental release of the virus and its subsequent uncontrolled proliferation. In a universe where multiple civilizations are engaged in a race to develop the most advanced technology, there is immense pressure to push the boundaries of science and explore new frontiers. This relentless pursuit of knowledge and technological advancement often leads to experiments in areas that are not fully understood, such as advanced nanotech. Nanotech in particular is a field that holds immense potential but also carries significant risks as it involves manipulating matter at the atomic and molecular level. The theory suggests that the melding plague emerged as a byproduct of research in advanced nanotechnology or a related field. The researchers involved in the experiment may have been attempting to develop a new form of nanotechnology with beneficial applications such as medical treatment, enhanced cognitive abilities or improved infrastructure. However, due to the complexity of the field and the potential for unforeseen interactions between nanoscale components, the experiment could have inadvertently created the melding plague instead. A less popular but still plausible theory is that the melding plague is a natural phenomenon, possibly originating from a distant part of the universe where the laws of physics and biology differ from those we are familiar with. The universe is incredibly vast and diverse, and it is conceivable that in distant regions, the laws of physics and biology as we know them may not apply in the same way. This could lead to the emergence of phenomena that seem impossible or incomprehensible from our perspective. The melding plague, with its ability to manipulate both organic and inorganic matter in ways that defy conventional understanding, could be one such phenomenon. This suggests that the melding plague could be a form of cosmic bacteria or an alien nanotechnology that inadvertently found its way into human controlled space. Cosmic bacteria could be a form of life or a lifelike entity that exists in the vacuum of space and has the ability to manipulate matter at the atomic or molecular level. Similarly, alien nanotech could be a form of advanced technology developed by extraterrestrial civilizations that have properties and capabilities that are beyond human comprehension. Either of these entities could have characteristics that, when introduced into human-controlled space, result in the effects observed as the melding plague. While this theory is less popular than the ones suggesting that the melding plague was artificially created, either as a weapon or as a result of an experiment gone awry, it still remains plausible given the vastness and complexity of the universe. It also raises interesting questions about the potential forms of life and technology that may exist in distant parts of the cosmos and the potential dangers they may pose if they were to come into contact with human civilization. Another theory proposes that the melding plague was the result of sabotage, possibly by a rival faction or extraterrestrial civilization. This theory suggests that the plague was intentionally introduced into human civilization to destabilize it and create chaos, thereby making making it easier for the saboteurs to achieve their objectives, whether that be conquest, control, or something else entirely. 
In the complex and politically charged universe of Revelation space, various factions vie for power, influence and control over territories and resources. It's plausible that a rival faction, in a bid to destabilize and weaken its adversaries, intentionally introduced the Melding Plague into human civilization. Such a faction would likely have advanced knowledge of nanotech and the capability to engineer or manipulate the plague to maximize its destructive potential. Alternatively, the sabotage could have been orchestrated by extraterrestrial civilizations, with motives that are not immediately apparent to humans. This civilization might view human expansion and technological advancements as a threat to their own existence or ambitions. The introduction of the Melding Plague would undoubtedly create widespread chaos and devastation. Infrastructures would be crippled, planets rendered uninhabitable, and entire civilizations thrown into disarray. This chaos would weaken the affected factions or civilizations, making them more vulnerable to manipulation, conquest, or subjugation by the saboteurs. This theory highlights the darker side of interstellar politics and the lengths to which factions or civilizations might go to achieve their objectives. Each of these theories brings its own set of implications and leads to different interpretations of the events depicted in the Revelation Space series. Reynolds masterfully leaves the origins of the Melding Plague ambiguous, allowing for a rich tapestry of interpretations and discussions among fans of the series. Regardless of its origins, the Melding Plague serves multiple narrative functions in Reynolds' universe, making it a compelling and multifaceted plot device. It serves as a powerful narrative device, it forces characters to confront the limitations of technology, the dangers of playing God, and drives character development and conflict. Additionally, it plays a vital role in the world building of the series, shaping the geopolitical landscape and influencing the interactions between different factions. The Melding Plague in Reynolds' Revelation Space Universe serves as a multifaceted narrative device that not only drives the plot forward, but also underscores several key themes that are central to the series. And it does so in a way that ignites the imagination, in a way only sci-fi of this caliber can. It serves as a reminder of the potential unintended dangers of advanced technology, the consequences, unintended or otherwise, of our actions, and the intricate dynamics of power and politics in a vast interstellar civilization. Thank you for coming along this journey into the mysteries of the Melding Plague. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this from me. Until next time, guys.